And, you know, Miss Sophia was a threat from day one because she would not allow any man to abuse her because she experienced that as a child. So she became right. a very like, you ain't putting your hands on me type woman. Or you about to and get she was beat down. Confident. You do. Yeah, she was very confident and she would keep a man. And she owned her happiness. And she was and from that, and, and, you know, back in those days, because the movie starts in 1908. Yeah. And ends in around 1946, 47. So throughout that entire up until when she was arrested for not obliging to Miss Millie's request to be her maid. Miss Sophia was an outstanding woman. There weren't too many black women that had that type of confidence, especially, you know, the fact that how and this is something that still impacts our community today how black women are treated differently based on the 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 color of their skin complexion so colorism right right and that played a major role because people don't want to talk about it or not but suge avery you know she was of a lighter skin complexion Mm -hmm. compared to miss seeley compared to miss sophia i mean she she was regarded as beautiful and she was regarded as promiscuous and she was regarded as ooh, everybody stop shug avery's in town so there's there's some other underlying experiences that impact black women especially in the south in those times that still are relevant today so So, i would say read the book 